Well, it's not always easy to have a candid conversation with your eye doctor, but this dialogue can actually really make the difference for both of you. Here to start the conversation on conversations is ophthalmologist Dr. Netta Shami. Good morning, doctor. Good morning, Alex. It's a pleasure to have you on today, and what we're talking about is very important because it's opening the dialogue, it's opening those lines of communication. So I have a feeling I know what you're going to say, but how important is communication with your doctor? Well, absolutely. It's critical uh, to create that relationship with your doctor so that you can have an advocate uh, in that doctor. Uh, it's not until you have a conversation that the doctor can really be honed in on concerns that you may be having or symptoms that could then be associated with the diagnosis and then in turn uh, the doctor can then offer a customized treatment plan to address your concerns. So you need to start that conversation to start that process. Well certainly and there was a survey recently conducted about these types of conversations. What did it actually show? Yes, so Restasis Multidose conducted a survey, as you mentioned, asking that exact question of whether or not you share your con eye concerns with your eye doctor. And as an ophthalmologist, I was sad to see the results, which was, you know, sadly, uh, nearly half of the respondents admitted to the fact that they're not sharing their eye concerns with their eye doctor. And the reasons they gave was that they felt that maybe their eye concerns were not serious enough, uh, that, uh, or that uh, it would go away on its own, which is why they were using over-the-counter drops to address their common eye problems, or that aging was an explanation, so uh, that they shouldn't bring it up. Uh, when in fact, if you know any changes, if you're experiencing changes in your eye, in your vision, in the feeling of your eye, in the sensation that you have, if you're having redness, irritation, sensitivity to light, um, tearing, inability to wear contact lenses, those are all telltale signs of a very common problem that's often underdiagnosed and really is left untreated uh, because patients are not coming to us with those symptoms. And that condition is chronic dry eye disease uh, that is uh, occurs in nearly 30 million Americans and only a small fraction are getting the treatment to really get to the core of the problem. Yeah, very good point. It's, it's important to normalize it and of course it's also important to be prepared. So what should people really think about? How should they prepare when they go in and see their doctor? So they need to create a mental log of these uh, problems or concerns that they're having changes that, are, uh, that they're noticing from their year prior. Uh, maybe go to online resources to get the right information. An online resource for chronic dry eye disease is Restasis.com. And there is a dry eye quiz that you can take that gives you sound bites and bullet points to start that conversation with your eye doctor. And to understand that unless you start that process and you're your own health advocate, you may not be given access to the right treatment, as I mentioned. And for chronic dry eye disease, which is an inflammatory condition where there's inflammation in the eye causing the problems, uh, Restasis Multidose is a prescription eye drop. It's the only FDA non-preserved prescription eye drop in a multi-dose bottle that treats the inflammation and in turn helps you make more of your own tears and then stops the disease in, in its progress. So as you can see, the conversation led to the right treatment and then hopefully the following year when when you go back to your eye doctor your your condition or your concerns are either completely resolved or at least uh, prevented from getting worse definitely the highlight there is be your own advocate and dr. Shami very good information today we will certainly uh, go and visit that website to get more information I want to thank you so much for joining us today thank you so much Alex definitely I'll stay right where you are the morning blend will be right back